Hello and welcome back to another episode of Moonlight Fantasy, episode 19, The Unruly Merchant. Because I can never say the name of the series, I'm just, I'm leaving it at that. So, in the last episode we've gotten not a whole lot of information, mostly the evacuation of the city, the fact that, what's his name, Emil Gerd or whatever the fuck his name was, technically not dead and Mio took care of him. So, is he going to be coming back? Did she actually fully kill him or what's happening? Also, the main character's got so much swag, he rescued a brothel and now he's got probably every girl in there on him. <laughs> Or that'll, that'll probably be a future season if there is another season. So I'm looking forward to seeing... Actually, you know, I'm looking more forward to seeing that because I'm a fucking degenerate. Leave me alone. Anyway, though, let's get into this episode right here and see. Wondering where the heroes are still. Come on, guys. Show up. You guys are about as useless as a fucking rock right now. I guess a rock can at least be thrown, so it's more... They're, it, that's more useful than them. So they're going to run in and act like the heroes and to get a bunch of popularity, I guess. Oh man, they got to babysit the newbies. Oh god, they're all fucked. Did you guys enjoy your food? That uh, yeah, yep. Well, you had it. Those four right there can probably take out an entire nation without any effort. Oh, it's this fucking dude. All three of them want this motherfucker dead. Pat? Uh, Patrick. They're on a, a short nickname basis. Oh my goodness. Mio's still not happy with this dude. Oh goodness. This is going to be some serious competition now. This dude just jealous, man. Oh shit, he's gonna profit off this one. Okay. That's how it is, though, for these businessmen. Oh shit, what? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> these guys. Yeah, they're like best buds. Oh, she's she just she's just in a competition right now. She she gets sass. She could get something from him. <laughs> it's like the grandest surprise against three of the most powerful beads probably in the world. <laughs> Not the most powerful, but some of the top dogs. <laughs>
Oh, it's this guy. Got it. The Great Mono. He's also an ogre, right? So bananas. Oh my god, Eris, what are you planning? You're such a mischievous little girl. Oh my god! <laughs> Dear God, these two. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, no, it's just Eris being Eris. She was being extreme. Eris has no regrets about it. It's fantastic. Oh god, they're afraid of him. Alrighty. Oh, okay. What's she gonna deal with? Oh, he destroyed all those little uh, teleporting blocker things, or telepathy blocker. Oh, so they were just distracting there to go attack the royal city, which makes sense. Attack them at another city that's not nearly as big and cause a commotion and then everyone's going to go help them while they infiltrate and attack the royal city. Alrighty, that's another episode down. Still no heroes. We did have mentions of what they're doing, though. So they're, they weren't in the city. They were, they're out fighting the demon forces, it seems like. So, I don't know. I just want the interaction between them two, the, the two parties at this point, because or the three parties, because there's two heroes and each one has their own party. But um, interaction between them and then uh, Kazuka, Kazuna actually um, shuts them down, because I'm, I'm pretty sure the one guy is going to still try to get Tomo or Mio to, you know... Be his little dolls, I guess, if you want to put it that way. Fucking hypnotize them. And he's going to be like, nope. And just, like, snap his fingers and shut off all magic from it. I don't know. I just want that to happen and the guy just being crushed. Because I'm pretty sure he's going to crush him that way. So, all right. Well, that's the end of this episode. If you're liking the video, slash that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next